Okay, dear friends, I'm back today. I'd like to go through the machine of the blocky on the hacked box. As you can see, I have already spawned the machine earlier, and this is the IP address of the target. And uh, I'd like to use the pawn box, which is online pilot OS provided by the hack the box to do this penetration. Before we start today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. This will help me very much on the YouTube robots. So without further ado, let's just get started. We can switch over to Hack the Box Viewer. As you can see here, uh, I've already done the map scanning earlier uh, to save time of the video recording. As you can see, I did the scene scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and uh, also the option of the dash p dash, which stands for comprehensive scan or full range port scan. And I like to use the T4 to speed up the scanning process. And, and also the capital P N stands for we do not need to do the pin test for the target because we have already know that the target is online anyway. So I'll put the result to this uh, file. Okay, so from the map scanning results, as you can see here, the several open ports. The first one is 21, which is running FTP. And also the actual version information, uh, Pro FTPD, and the corresponding version number. And of course, we can use the search sprite to make research to, to see whether there is a vulnerability which is related to this version. But I think, uh, yeah, they, if you come across the uh, the CTF like machine, yeah, this one is very popular, and you can come you can come across a lot. But in this case, this is our not interested target. And uh, the next one is twenty two, which is running SSH surface, and also the actual version information, as we know. Uh, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And the next one is 80, which is running HTTP surface, and also the actual version information, which is Apache 2. And uh, as you can see, didn't follow redirect to the host lane. So maybe we need to, of course, before we do that, you can make a manual emulation. For example, we open up our browser of Firefox, and uh, visit the target. As you can see, we are having trouble finding that site because we cannot connect to the server at this one. In other words, we need to put this host name into our host file under the etc directory. So we can uh, sudo etc hosts and uh, go to the last line and the IP address and host name blocky HTTP and the right and quit. Now we can go back to our browser. If you refresh the page, you can get the the proper content. And I think uh, from the page content, as we scroll down, yeah, it says proudly, proudly powered by WordPress. Yeah, of course, it's obvious that the target is running WordPress. But uh, if you immediately uh, do the WordPress again, I mean the WordPress immersion with the tool like a WordPress again, you will get the wrong direction. Uh, I think for the pen tester, we need to follow the standard procedure or methodology before we try to to do the very specific emulation like WordPress. We need to do 
like direct immersion, the web application immersion. So, for example, we need to check whether the source code of this page contains some sensitive information, but it does not. And also, we need to check whether this site has has robots file blocky robots, but uh, not found. And then we need to use the Ligato. You know, this is the standard procedure when we do such penetration blocky. Hack the box. Let's hit enter. You know, Ligato will give us some information about the web software, like architecture, allowed the methods, also like um, some sort of a framework, the application framework, and also like vulnerabilities in some cases, and also the, the directories, the common directories, and the files as well. So we just wait for this to be finished to see what information we can get from the Ligto. But uh, for this case, yeah, we cannot get uh, such information. What I, 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 I mentioned. So I'd like to interrupt this one. But uh, remember, we also need to use the GoBuster similar like, uh, or also like a DeerBuster uh, or GoBuster, the directory immersion to, to do the Furthermore, direct to immigration, blocky, HTTP, and the word list, share word list, dear buster, direct, directory, and I'd like to specify the extension option. because I'm afraid to miss some important information. And let's hit enter. Yeah, I think uh, we can, yeah, this is a very standard, standard WordPress installation directories. But this one, plugins, this one is a bit different. This is not uh, default. WordPress installation. We can check on that. You know, if you get this wrong direction, for example, you you immediately want to make um, like use the make uh, the Word, WordPress emulation with the tool of WordPress again, and you can specify the URL blocky HTTP. And the option E stands for immersion. And of course, you, we can get the username and the plugins. And you, you try to crack the password for the user, the notch, you, you, which you can identify. You will get the wrong direction because we cannot crack it successfully. So I think just I mentioned at the very beginning, the the right direction or the methodology is so important for for pen tester and now as i mentioned this one is not a default wordpress the default wordpress installation you also under the wordpress installation has the plugins for example if we open up blocky HTTP content plugins. Yeah, this is the default, the WordPress installation for plugin. But this one is a bit different. Uh, yeah, this one, this is the some sort of the almost the re root directory. I think I, I, I get clear about this, my idea. And uh, so we need to manually test or check this directory plugin. Let's hit enter. Oh, sorry, not this one. 
plugins. Now, why go to? I think uh, this problem caused by maybe I can use the IP address instead of the domain name. And uh, the one is plugins. Not on this one. A weird plugin. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, this this time we got what we expect, and the two files we can download these two files onto our local machine. And this one, I think this is the Java file. Uh, it's written by the Java uh, programming language, and I have already download downloaded it. And now we can move these two files. To our current working directory, to the desktop. Go back to our. I think we can cancel uh, this process of directory emulation, and uh, we list the files on our in our current directory, and we can unzip uh, this. Java file, yeah, we got that list, and uh, of course we can use the the decompiler to analyze the the Java class file, and how to do it? We can use the Java p, and uh, but we need to specify the option of a v, which means verbose, and uh, the com, yeah. The, it's just only one class file. Hit enter. Of course, you can also analyze the another Java file, but to save time, we just surround this file or this class. As you can see here, let's scroll down, scroll up. Uh, I think this should be the username root, and uh, this one should be the password. We can make a copy. Of course, I have already copied earlier,、uh, just here. So now I think、uh, you know. If we use the WordPress scan blocky option, yeah, from this one, from the WordPress scan. Two, we can emulate the user name of the yeah this one notch. So you think that、uh, maybe this user use the this password. Although yeah, from the class the Java class file, we know that、uh, maybe this is not a case. But we can try that, right? And we can make a copy and try to log in. To the admin, not this one. So this, I think, this problem is caused by my local browser. Maybe I can use the IP address. Admin. Okay. Ah.、Huh? Weird. Okay. Notch, and we can paste the password here. But it's not working. So maybe you know, maybe the the user, the user name is also used by the Linux system, and、uh, also reuse the password. We can try that. You know. So we can try ssh, notch, the IP address. And the password, we can paste in here. Yeah, as you can see, we successfully log in to the target via SSH, and we can check the ID. 
and we can get the user flag, right? And also we can cut the bash history file, but nothing there. And then, then we need to do some local immersion, just uh, any one user on the target. And the next thing, of course, we need to elevate our privilege. The first thing we must check is sudo. And we can pass the, we can provide the password here. Even we can run all commands without supplying the the password of a looter user. So it will be very easy to elevate. As you can see, we have already become the looter user, and we can get the looter flag without e any issue. So maybe also, I I think this is the 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 the, the I think this is the right way. Also, during the direct immersion, we can know that uh, the site also has the P PHP. PHP, my admin directory. And we can try like a loot. Also, maybe the same password to see whether it's working. Yeah, it's working. So this is another, uh, again, confirm our I guess the notch, the you know the the class file. Uh, I can we can use the Java com com. As you can see here, this one just uh, display the. Username and the password, which you can make database collection, as you can see here, the loot and this one. And uh, of course, uh, uh, I will not go further. Anyway, we have already done this machine without any issue. So that's pretty much it. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.